switching gears to the Nane Nane demonstrations, police engaged the anti-government demonstrators in running battles for better part of the day after close to two weeks of relatively calm. And as Victor Washira explains in the following report, the planned Nane Nane demonstrations organized by the youths popularly known as the Gen Z's saw a number of protesters left nursing injuries as police used tear gas to disperse the demonstrators. Most businesses operating in the CBD remained closed as the planned Nane Nane demonstrations took place today. The protests, however, were less intense than previously witnessed as protesters' turnout was notably low compared to previous anti-finance bill protests. However, notable scenes from previous demonstrations came to play even in today's protest, with several protesters arrested, while others were also seen engaging in running battles with the police in a bid to evade arrest. There was, however, significant commotion at the business district, with reports of police using live bullets and rubber bullets, alongside the usual tear gas, to manage the crowds as they formed. Dozens of civilians were arrested by police officers in plain clothes and tossed into police lorries. The intense police actions also subsequently brought public transport to a halt. Popular youth mobilizers on social media were present in CBD including Hanifa Farsafi and Kasmol Makuri who successfully evaded police arrest. The atmosphere in other major cities and towns was however calm as no protests were witnessed outside the capital. It was business as usual in Mombasa, Kisumu, Nakuru and Kiambu towns, although police deployment was heavy in preparation of the impassioned demonstrations that were anticipated. Victor Washira, KUTV.